hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel or my facebook page depending on which of the platform you are watching okay and uh, of course we have this uh, problem right here to solve so this is negative 4 power m is equal to 18 and so our job is just pretty much simple and need is to find the value of m that actually satisfies this equation how are you going to be solving it well we are going to be doing it together in this video so all you just need to do is just to make sure you follow through and of course if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much and of course hit the like button and of course if you are also stumbling upon our channel for the very first time do it to also like this video subscribe to our channel for more updates and most importantly turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you will actually get to know about it. of course you receive a personal notification from youtube okay and then of course if you are watching us on facebook do well to also like our video follow our page and share this video with your friends so that they will also get to enjoy it okay so having said that and having done all of those things let us now proceed with this video so it is just just pretty much simple the first step i want to take is actually to split this uh, minus four i have right there and if i do that i can actually write minus four as minus one times four okay or uh, power m and of course it's equal to 18. having expressed it that way of course you know that if i have a times b or power x i can actually uh, um, distribute this x over a and b so that i have a power x and then multiply by b power x and that's what i'm going to be applying right here so that i have minus one power m and then multiply by four power m okay so it's equal to the right answer which is just eight okay so the next thing i want to do is just to make some substitution so if you remember so well minus one is actually equal to exponential i pi so i'm just going to replace this exponential i pi for minus one right here. and of course if i do that i have exponential i pi okay or bracket okay or power m multiply by four and then power m is equal to 18 and then moving on i am just going to put this inside so i will uh, multiply this to the half uh, exponential i pi m okay multiply by i can also write this as 4 power m is equal to 18 so next i am just going to go ahead to uh, take the natural log of both sides so that i have natural log of um, exponential i pi m okay multiply by 4 power m is equal to natural log of i can actually express this 18 here as 9 times 2 okay so that moving forward you i can use the law of logarithm to expand this and of course if you remember so well that if you have maybe actual log of a multiplied by b you can actually expand this uh, to being equal to natural log of a plus natural log of b okay so that's what i'm going to be doing here so that i have actual log of exponential i pi m and then uh, plus natural log of 4 power m and of course it's equal to, i'm also going to be using same here so this natural log of 9 plus natural log of 2 mm -hmm. so remember that if you have a natural log or logarithm of a power x you can have, this s can actually come down here so that you now have x log a so i'm going to also be utilizing this to simplify this further okay and of course if i do that i'm going to bring this i pi m down here so i have i pi m a natural log of e okay plus this one comes down m natural log of 4 is equal to 
to natural log of nine i can actually write as three power two and then plus uh, natural log of two okay and of course natural log of e is actually one so that i have that i uh, pi m multiplied by one remains i pi m okay plus i also have m natural log of four is equal so i can bring these two down here so that i have two natural log of three plus natural log of two okay so you can see here that m is common i can actually factorize m here so that here i'm left with uh, i pi plus of course here i'm left with natural log of four okay and of course it's equal to two natural log of three plus uh, natural log of uh, two so next i'm just gonna go ahead to divide by the coefficient of m so that i'll have my value of m and if i do that i have divided by i pi plus natural log of four and then divided by i pi plus natural log of four this can actually cancel this and then m now becomes a two natural log of three plus a natural log of two divided by i pi plus natural log of uh, four which i can also write as natural log of two power two and uh, finally to get the final value for y okay i have that this is actually going to give me two natural log of three plus natural log of two divided by i pi okay uh, plus these two can come down here to have two natural log of two and this is actually going to be the final answer for m that satisfy the uh, problem we are solving so thank you guys so much for watching and if you have enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to our channel for more updates hit the like button and if you have any questions do drop it in the comment box and i will surely get back to you okay and of course thank you guys so much and of course i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye